tonight. Crisis at the border. The disturbing images demanding answers. Plus, while some unvaccinated states see COVID deaths rise, the states where hospitalizations are dropping with so much at stake. World News Tonight with David Muir is the number one newscast on television. A former bodybuilder still battling COVID months after testing positive, and tonight he shares his story. Being someone who didn't have any underlying issues, didn't smoke, didn't drink, was not obese, was a, a gym workout, uh, you know, re religiously worked out. His message for all Oklahomans when you join us tonight at 6 o'clock on KOCO 5. We will see you then. World News with David Muir starts right now. We're going to send you to New York. The 90th annual Plaza Art Fair kicks off this weekend. This year's fair will feature pieces from 240 artists, including ceramics, digital art, painting, photography, and more. There will also be live music and some special deals at several restaurants on the plaza. The Plaza Art Fair starts Friday and goes through Sunday. We thank you for joining us. Laura Martz is here looking ahead to KNBC 9 News at 6. And Chris, tonight at 6, the battle on masks heads to court in Jackson County. The arguments made when a ruling could be made on Ray's Cafe. A rock band is taking center stage tonight in Bonner Springs, but to see a show, you must prove you're vaccinated. We're live with the lines to get in. Plus, a celebrity chef is checking in on his own restaurants in Kansas City, how you can grab a burger with him tonight. That's on KNBC 9 News at 6. Hey, welcome back. Well, right after the news here, it's going to be world news tonight with David Muir. And then after that, we're back with 4029 News at 6. Now, after that, it's going to be Modern Family. That'll be at 630. Goldberg's at 7. Then the big news, the Wonder Years, the reboot premiering tonight. That'll be at 7. What would you do if I sang out of tune? That music brings back memories. Tonight's Wonder Years reboot follows a black middle class family in Alabama during the turbulent 1960s. Meet 12-year-old Dean, played by newcomer E.J. Williams. Now, Dulé Hill, he stars as the Williams family's loving but stern dad. Now, Hill says that he was a fan of the original, but he was also keenly aware that there was something missing from the show. Not seeing myself reflected as much as I would have liked. Uh, so, I mean, the idea to be able to now, I guess, re-explore that time from a different point of view is very intriguing to me. And this new version does not shy away from the struggles that a black family faced in 1968. It also serves as a reminder that even 50 years after, we still have a lot of work to do regarding racial equality. Hey, thank you so much for joining us for 4029 News at 5. Don't forget you can get all the news you need anytime you need at 4029TV.com or the free app. It's World News Tonight now with David Muir.